I've got some insane investments that can help you triple your coins on FIFA 22. But before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, boys, so jumping into these investments, we're going to be looking at some really, really simple stuff that, again, can triple your coins here. So what we're going to be starting off with is some stuff that might sound crazy, but hear me out on it. We are going to be looking at bronze rare and silver rare cards from major nations. So specifically to start out, let's take a look at French silver rare cards. Now, why would we invest in these? Why would these go up? Why would people buy these? So right now, if we take a look at the price of these French silver rare cards, you can see right now, these are going for about 300 coins a piece, which is actually their discard price, which is the first point here that these cards are discard price, obviously. So it means this is a zero risk investment. You cannot lose coins on this because these are already at their minimum price, so they can only go up. So why would we invest in these? Why would these go up? So what happens whenever we get promos and stuff is there's always these certain SPCs that come out that are something like 72, 74 rated. They're like 85 chemistry and they require 10 rare cards. And what happens is these silver rare cards, because they're really useful for those SPCs, especially the ones from major nations like France, shoot up in price. And I kind of want to show you that on Footbin here. So looking at this Bernard card here, let's go pick him out on Footbin. If we jump over here to Footbin and we put Bernard, the 71 rated French dude, and go take a look at his price graph throughout the year. You can see right now he's discard price at 300 coins. But if we go look at him throughout the year, you can see this guy consistently jumps to well over a thousand coins. And if we look at just the last month alone, you can see he's 2,000 coins there, he's 1,500 there, he's 1,700 there, 2,700 there, 34 there, 6K there. And he's just like constantly at like one to two K because whenever these SBCs come out, nobody really has these cards club stock because nobody really thinks about it. So these go crazy. So we're going to start off with the French ones here. The two best nations are going to be France and Spain. I would absolutely load up on the French and Spanish cards. Now you can really do any nation, any rating. Typically center backs are going to do the best, especially Span Spanish center backs. If you're going to go for any one specific like nation and league, Spanish center backs are always the best and these are dirt cheap right now. So you can pick these up for like 300, 400, 500 or less on Spanish center backs is a great buy. So I definitely recommend those. Those are going to be good. And then you can even after France and Spain jump over to like England isn't terrible either. But France and Spain are definitely the priority. Those are easily the two best. And typically strikers are going to be the worst position. And then wingers are weird because it always depends on the formation for those. Now, the next thing is going to be the bronze rare cards as well. Now, the bronze rares don't rise as much as the silvers or as consistently as the silvers. The reason for that being you need, obviously, a much lower rated SBC for, those to, for these to be as useful. However, you can also get them for very, very cheap. As you can see, these are literally discard price as well. You could pick these up for 150 on bid. And let's go pick out a random card here. Let's go look at this Gomez and look at him on Footbin and see how often he kind of rises in price. Because we could see that Bernard card we looked at was rising just consistently. So let's jump over to Footbin. This Gomez card, if we take a look, I mean, just in the last month, like he jumped up to a thousand here, he jumped up to 1900 there. And then he's constantly like peaking towards a thousand here. You can see when these SBCs come out because of these spikes here, like 11, 1200 there. So you can see like that, it, like it's almost every week he gets a point where he goes up. Like, and you'll find that with a lot of these cards. And again, I can get these for literal discard price. So there's no reason to not go in on these. So even if you don't want to go like unassigned and just throw the throw tons of these around like at least just pick up one of every card and throw it in your club because these are going to triple in price minimum as you're seeing which is where i get to my point where a lot of people are like well i'm not going to touch these cards because why would i go buy something that i'm only going to make 500 coins on you got to think about like if you go spend 100k on bronze and silver rares from france that's going to turn in to like 300 to 400k depending on the price increase so you're making 200 to 300k 
on those cards for just go throw throwing a bunch of random bronze rare and silver rare cards in your club. So it's a really just like simple way to just club stock some random cards and triple your coins off the investment, which is very, very nice. And again, the sell time is just going to be whenever we get an SPC that makes these rise. Whenever stuff like this is this cheap, you just buy it, throw it in your club and hold it till we get an SPC that makes it shoot up in price. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.